what is your go-to screen recorder? Is it Screencastify, Screencast-O-Matic, OBS? With the recent release of Chrome OS 89, your Chromebook can natively record a full screen, partial screen, or window video. So what's the big deal? Since the screen recorder is native to the OS, this functionality doesn't depend on third-party apps or extensions, and it works offline. That means students without internet access can save their slide deck for offline use and record their presentation from anywhere. To launch the screen recorder, use the shortcut Control-Alt and the Show All Windows function key. That's this one. So let's go ahead and activate our screen recorder with control alt and then the show all windows function key by default it's just going to take a screenshot let's head down here and slide that over to video and we have the options down here at the bottom to record full screen part of the screen or to have it just hang with the window also before you get started by default the microphone's off so let's go ahead and toggle that microphone on. So to record us, I'm going to have it record just part of the screen. Uh, and so this is kind of neat. So if I say partial screen and I just mask out my presentation slide here, now I can see all of my speaker notes at the bottom of each slide, but all my audience will see is just my slide deck. Um, so this will be minus all the animations and everything else. It won't be in presentation mode, but if you didn't add any of those, then you have nothing to worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button in the middle of the screen. It's going to count me in. Three, two, one. And now we're rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. So down in the system tray, click the stop button. And we see right here, it's already for us to view. If I messed up, I can hit delete, but let's hit show in folder. So it's currently locally saved to my Chromebook hard drive, so I can put that on a USB stick or anything else. Or once I reconnect to internet, if I'm away from internet, then it will sync everything back up. Have I convinced you to try Chrome's screen recorder yet? No? You're missing the screen annotating tools from other screen recorders? We'll go back and check out my tutorial on the extension Web Paint to learn how you can annotate on your screen. As with any new software, take your time and get comfortable with it before forcing it into your workflow. If you have any EdTech questions, feel free to send them my way. I'd love to help you elevate your use of technology in the classroom. You now. Hello? Hey!